Hello guys, uh, today we're going to do uh, lesson 2.16, which is on pages 102 and 103. Okay, so what are we going to do today? The figure of language. So the objective is the student will be able to use figure of language as we read the story to connect to the deeper meaning of the author's words. Okay, one of the figure of language, it is a simile. You guys remember it compares two items using the words like or as. Similes helps a uh, you know writer to create a strong image in the minds of the readers. So the first vocabulary word it is plead, which is a verb. So the meaning it is to ask or beg for something you want. It is to ask. It's an example. It is when you was the last time you pleaded for something. The last time that I pleaded for something was when I asked my parents uh, to let me go to a party on a weeknight. So that I pleaded. It was something when you asked my parents to let me go. Let me go to a party on a week night okay resemble a resemble it is a verb as well and what is the meaning to look like someone or something to look like someone or something okay so it says here, who is someone in your family that you must resemble? In my case, someone that must resemble is my aunt because we both have black hair. You guys, believe it or not, I used to have a really black hair. So resemble is my aunt. Okay because we both have black hair okay so we are going to read this story because as the name fish cheers by emmy tan i fell in love with the minister's son the winter i turned 14. he was not chinese but as what as Mary and the manger. For Christmas, I pray for this blind, hairy boy, Robert, and I sleep new American nose. When I found out that my parents had invited the minister's family over the Christmas Eve dinner, I cry. What would Robert think of a shabby Chinese Christmas? What would he think of our noisy Chinese relatives who lacked proper American manners? What terrible disappointment would he feel upon seeing not a roasted turkey and sweet potatoes, but Chinese food? Uh-oh. Let's turn the page, guys. Okay. There we go. I hope it looks okay. So let's wait for the thing to work a little bit better. Okay, it is an, on Christmas Eve. I saw that my mother had undone herself and created a strange menu. She was pulling black veins out of the backs of fishy prawns. The kitchen was littered with a pen mounds of raw food. A slimy rock cut with bothering ice that pleaded not to be thrown into a pan of hot oil. Tofu which cook like scattered wedges of rubbery white sponges. A bowl soaking dry fungus back to life. A plate of squid, you know, their backs crossing cross with knife, you know, markings, so they resemble bicycle tires. Okay, so it is a really, you know, really bad explanatory, you know, about Wow, what's going on and you know his her mother's uh you know kitchen 
so i'm gonna try to make it a little bit more you know easy for you guys it's kind of blurry and i don't know why okay so okay there we go it is working so what is the key idea how does emmy you know 10 react when she learns that robert is coming to dinner okay i'll tell you guys 10 reacts by becoming upset because she's worried about what robert will think you know of her family and their shiniest christmas traditions right so she reacts by becoming upset upset okay she worries about robert will think of her family and their Chinese Christmas Chris, Christmas traditions okay we're going to analyze the similes okay there were uh, uh, some uh, uh, similes that we saw here on the on the story it is underlined the simile in paragraph three so what do you think the writer made this comparison so let's go to paragraph number three and it says the writer made a comparison to emphasize how unappetizing the tofu might look to an outsider okay because he was like the lack of stock which of rubbery white sponges okay and a soaking dry tofu is back to life it doesn't look very appetizing to me i don't like tofu i tried once and i didn't like it so when she um emphasize emphasize okay i'm sorry i made a mistake here thank you very much emphasize how unappetizing you know the tofu might look to an outsider okay so it says here react and write it says um why does you know tam pray for the slim new american notes then pray for us okay because she what okay i just want you guys to finish this part which is really 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 easy okay so we're going to the review what is a simile a simile uses like or ask to compare two items. Think about how the items are alike. We help you to visualize what is, you know, is describe it. Okay, so it's the only thing that I'm going to ask from you. The rest, we are going to, you did it, you know, together. So on the next lesson, we're going to continue within this story. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know, guys. Have a good day.